Hello my dear family members, as I got to know in many government college Accenture didn't start their on-campus drive. That means they will keep recruiting throughout the month of September and October. That means there might be a little delay in your recruitment process, right? By the way, for upcoming slots today, we will solve a coding question that was asked on 14th September Accenture on-campus drive 2023. So let's go. But before we proceed to the question, I would request you to please join my YouTube channel and get exciting perks. Okay. So let's start with the questions. Okay, the question is regarding mango distribution. Actually, the question was asked earlier in this on campus itself, right? So this is repeated. So the question is given a number of mangoes and number of persons, find the number of ways to distribute identical mangoes among identical persons. Input specification, input 1 is the number of mangoes and input 2 is the number of persons. So output specification is return the number of ways to distribute identical mangoes among identical persons. Example 1, let's say for number of mangoes 2, number of peoples 2. So output will be 3. How? Here is the explanation. Uh, all possible distribution of two identical mangoes to two identical persons are this, right? So we can distribute two mangoes within this specification right so one mango one mango to each two mango zero mango respectively and zero mango two mango respectively to each people right so hence the output is three that means the total three distribution can be possible so let's check next example that is input one that is number of mangoes one number of people's 12 right so the output is 12 how actually all possible distribution of one identical mango to 12 identical persons are 12 hence the output is 12 let me explain that let's say 1000010 0, 0, 0, 0, right sorry 11 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so this is one distribution and the next dis distribution can be 0 1 then 10 0 right so this way actually it will work in this way you will get total 12 identical distribution right so the output is 12 right Okay, actually, uh, the number of ways to distribute n identical object mango and among k identical recipient persons can be calculated using binomial coefficient formula. What is that? The formula is C of n plus 1 minus 1, sorry, n plus k minus 1. Here n is the number of mangoes and k is the person, right? So, and k minus 1 is equal to number of sorry n plus k minus 1 factorial and by n factorial i hope you have a little knowledge about this formula right if not then let's see k minus 1 factorial right applying this formula you can calculate the, the identical distributions between random pupil and random number of mangoes right so let's see for example 2 that is 1 and 12 so c of n means 1 and 12 right so 1 plus 12 minus 1 is equal to 12 comma k minus 1 that is 12 minus 1 that is 11 right so the formula will be in n plus k minus 1 means 12 factorial by 1 factorial multiply multiply with k minus 1 that means uh, 12 minus 1 that is 11 factorial right so this way the output will be 12 right okay let's see the solution this will be more clear right guys before i solve the question i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question and please share the channel with your friend right okay at first take import math this will help to take the factorial right and define the function to calculate the distribution right distribution mango and person as argument then calculate the total number of ways to distribute mangoes among the person using binomial coefficient formula right so total ways will be is equal to math dot factorial factorial of m plus p minus 1 by mangoes factorial right so math dot factorial of what math dot factorial of mangoes 
multiply with math dot factorial of sorry math dot factorial of uh, person minus one right now just return the ways then this will be okay return ways right okay now now prompt the user to input values for mangoes and person right so m comma p is equal to math int input split right okay now print the value of the function so distribution of mango comma person right okay let's check for the first and second input if this is right or wrong so for the input 1 and 12 that should be what sorry actually uh, there is a mistake that is we have to give a bracket here round bracket here right okay i hope this will be okay so for input 1 and 12 the output will be 12 this is okay and for input 2 and 2 the output should be 3 right so i hope this will be okay and for the input let's say 2 and 12 the output should be 78 right so this is 78 right so you can check any other format input as well right so i hope this session was very much helpful to you if you think then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question and guys please please join my channel and get royal membership and get exciting perks right so thank okay thank you for today's session